The purpose of this video is to take a quick tour of the new Moodle theme, um, which is really so much the same as the old theme with a little bit of differences in terms of where things are located that you might be used to. So let's take a peek here. I wanted to point out one thing first. If I were to search a course page by teacher last name, you will get a list of results and you're going to see some um, symbols that look different than the symbols you would have seen before. These symbols tell you a little bit about the visibility of the course. Um, in many cases, you're going to see two of them. The one on the left refers to guest access, and the one on the right refers to um, students and self-enrollment, whether or not they can join the course on their own. So if we look at environmental science, the unlock padlock means that guest access, if you hover over it, you can see a little key here too, guest access is open. Um, that means that parents can access that page without any sort of typing in a password of any sort. On the right, when you see that arrow, that means that students can enroll and they do not have to enroll with a special password or key from their teacher. When I go up and see some that have the symbols and there's only one of them, so if I hover over this one, um, there, what this means is that self-enrollment is available to students, but they have to type in a key, so the teacher needs to give that to them. There is not a symbol to the left, which means that guest access is not available for this particular course. And that is likely because there's copyright content posted to the course page. All right, let's take a look at what a page would look like. First thing I want to point out is that on the left, if you notice that any blocks that you had on the left hand side are no longer there, that's because all of the customized HTML blocks go to the right side in the new theme. The left side is re reserved for what's called the navigation block. And if you click on this icon in the left hand side, you can collapse and expand the navigation block. The navigation block will allow you to jump to various um, of the content blocks in the center column of your page. And this is also where my courses or the courses that you have access to will be listed. I actually have quite a few of those. Your list should be shorter. So the question would be, where is that administration block that used to be on the left-hand side? So the administration block has moved under the gear on the right-hand side. It's a pull-down menu, so you should notice um, some familiar terms here that were in the administration block of old. Um, if you're noticing some things that are missing, like the question bank or course reports or users, those are all available to you if you click the More button. So go ahead and try that, and you'll see all the commands in the old administration block. Another thing I wanted to let you know is you do not see a Turn Editing On button in the upper right-hand corner. It's still there. It's just at the top under the gear. You can turn editing on and uh, manipulate your course page. You're going to notice um, some images on the right-hand side that do not fit in that column. So such as this one right here, I have to scroll back and forth to see the entire image. And it might be true if you have posted an embedded uh, Google Calendar as well. This is because that column is a little more narrow the, than the one in the previous theme. If you have images that you would like to have reduced in size so they look nice in that right hand column and don't have time to do it yourself, um, please feel, feel free to send the URL to your Moodle page to Terry Oslin and request that she do it for you. All right, another thing that I wanted to let you know is that I go to the home page or if I scroll down on any page on the left, you might be missing a block called the web services block. We used the web services block in Moodle in the past to connect to um, digital resources or databases that have been purchased by our school district. We are looking for a better way to connect students to more of these digital resources and we're beginning to experiment with a slow rollout of Clever. So we are moving to Clever as an alternative to web services. If students click on this Clever button, or if teachers click on the Clever button, they log in with their district username and password, and they should be presented a portal or a page of many icons that would go to many different digital resources. So take a peek at Clever, 
when the new Moodle comes out. Lastly, the very reason why we uh, went to this new theme was to bring back a highly regarded feature where students could log into their page as, as a student so they wouldn't see things like hidden from students and some of the commands um, that you're used to as a teacher. Where do you find that? If you go into the upper right hand side, you have access to a profile pull down menu. And at the bottom of that menu is a switch role to option. So if I click on that, then I can choose student as my role. And then the page will appear differently and it will appear as it would be seen by students. So if you have any comments or questions or challenges with the new Moodle theme, please reach out to your digital content coach at your site or Terry Osland at the district.